Oh, oh, yeah, uh, didn't mean to do that, but yeah, I, I got him. So, yeah, welcome back to another video, and this is the, uh, tie-dye bonnie pop. I did show him in the previous video of the tie-dye bonnie plush review, uh, link, uh, yeah, go check that video out, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm back home from vacation all that, but that's not the main focus, so we're gonna put him back there. Today, we have the tie-dye bonnie pop, got this in the same place, uh, so let's go over the box. Down here, nothing really too special. Same thing that we've been seeing. Well, not, not really, actually. It's just black for some reason. Like, it doesn't have the colors up here. It doesn't have any of the tie-dye. It doesn't have, like, the normal FNAF 2 office. It's just black. Pretty lazy, in my opinion. But other than that, the box is pretty neat. Uh, it's got the tie-dye effect in, like, a spiral, which I'm pretty sure is all for all these. Yeah, because it's got the same thing for the tag on the plushie. Uh, up here, I got the, just a little pop. Uh, yeah, pretty cool box. You guys in the wave. There are no, as of now, there are no, like, exclusives for this wave. Not even, like, a tie-dye spring trap pop. But, uh, yeah, so let's just get this open and review it. So, yeah, uh, this is the tie-dye Bonnie Pop. He looks really, he feels a little weird. Like, he feels a bit different than the normal pop material. But, like, as you can see, he's got this really cool effect on him. I think it looks really cool. It's it's not as, it's not subtle at all. Unlike the plushie, as you can see, it's very subtle. But this one is just in your face. And then, like, little, nice little tail. Now, one thing is that, uh, I don't know if this is, like, just mine, but the head does not turn. So, if, if you could see, if I try to turn it, it just will not move. It will wiggle a little, because, you know... It's not that, it's not like a chunky piece of plastic. But as you can see, the head doesn't move. And it's kind of a similar thing they did to the Mystery Minis, where they, their heads don't turn. Because, you know, Shadow Bonnie, the same old head turns, all that good stuff. Now, I, I don't mind this, because I do display these in the box, aside from, like, childhood ones. And, you know, these, because they got a good deal on them, and they look really cool. But, yeah, uh, he's got, like, just some white in here. He's got the normal eyes. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The eyes do add, and the white do add a nice contrast. To like, it's like Fourth of July like color scheme or something. So yeah, pretty cool pop. Uh, it's got some little things on here. I don't know where they they're from, but yeah, uh, nice paint on the teeth. The teeth are very crisp. Uh, overall, pretty cool pop. Here he is with the uh, tie dye Bonnie plush. As you can see, this one is a lot more subtle and a lot different with the colors. This one's, as I said, is just in your face. It's like different colors, which is pretty neat. Uh, dark blues, pinks, whites, purples, reds. Uh, here he is with Shadow Bonnie. I do not have the original Bonnie Pop. Uh, strangely enough, they removed the freckles. He doesn't have the freckles anymore, unless... I don't think the FNAF... I don't know, but, uh, yeah, as I was gonna say, I don't know if the FNAF 1 Bonnie Pop does have the freckles or not, but if he did, then they removed them on this pop, which is a little strange, but I can see why they aren't really important and they're inaccurate, so, even though this pop isn't a character at all, but, you know, I mean, n nonetheless, I think this pop is really cool, pretty neat, I really do like this pop, this is probably one of my favorite FNAF Pops in general, just because of how sick he looks. Like, that. look at that. That's just really cool. I think this is my favorite pop of the wave. Uh, but we'll just have to see, wait and see. I'm glad that, they're return that the FNAF pops are returning. They were gone for so long. Here's his packaging with the normal wave one packaging, by the way. Yeah, all that good stuff. So, I'm going to I'm gonna see if he glows under a black light. And I'll show you if it works. If it doesn't, then obviously it won't. We'll just get to the end of the video. So here's the tie-dye Bonnie pop, pop underneath the black light, and he does glow a bit. He's a lot brighter on camera, but in real life, he's not as bright. The chest is similar, but pretty cool. Um, He almost kind of looks like White Rabbit from FNAF World. But yeah, here he, here's the plushie, by the way, and he's actually pretty cool. In person, he's not blue at all. Like, sorry, the camera quality isn't the greatest, but he's more, he more of a, turns like a lavender color. So, pretty interesting stuff. So, let's just get back to normal lighting. So, overall, what do I think of this uh, Tata Bonnie Funko Pop? Uh, if you couldn't tell already, this, I really love, I really like this pop. He's one of my favorites already. He's pretty cool. But since he is just a recolor, not really a character, I will have to give him, I guess, since I love him, I'll give him a 7.5 out of 10. 
And same for this guy, actually. You know, I'll give this guy an 8 out of 10 because he's really cute. I really like him. So, yeah, new rating for him, 8 out of 10. Rating for this guy, 7.5 out of 10. And that is the only uh, pieces of the tie-dye merch that I have right now. So, for, until then, I'll just review, like, older merch and all that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.